Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for the month of May. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Sagittarius. I do have personals open for the time being, so details are down there if you're interested, of course. But we're going to go ahead and begin here and see what we've got for you, Sagittarius. Got some cards wanting to pop out. What's going on here with this? Interesting. Okay. Your overall energy is the Six of Swords. Um, you have two cards that can represent, like, sort of the energy of delays. You have the Seven of Pentacles, and then you have the Hangman showing up right here. So, um, some of you, you could have a Saturn in Taurus or Pisces. But, yeah, you know, with this energy being present, I feel like something's finally progressing. Because, um, again, these are the energies of, like, you've invested in something. You know, it seems to me like you were, like, watching and waiting for a long time, and then you just kind of surrender. And I feel like your focus is on something else here, because you have the Knight of Cups and then the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you start working on something else, a new vision here. Something could start progressing in the workplace as well. I'm going to leave that Six of Swords out as your overall energy. Some of you, you could, like this is for a very small portion of you, but I feel like you could be working on changing your living situation. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What's going on with that? Six of Wands. Okay. Seven of Swords, the Death card. Wow. A lot of you, you, some of you, you could be ending something here with a Libra or a Scorpio. If that's the case, I feel like you've already ended this once before, or maybe even a few times before. I feel like you're having to shut someone down, like, repeatedly, is the energy that I'm feeling here. And I feel that once you do this, like, for some of you, like, for example here, you could have shut down this Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, whoever it is, right? I feel like you could have shut this person down, but it's almost as if maybe you don't, put up like very strong boundaries. Maybe you don't block them or, you know, um, restrict their phone number or whatever you want to call it here. Maybe you don't take any of those steps, right? But it's possible that this time you do, you know, this time you may end up doing that. And I feel like that actually may free up some space. Like it may actually draw that line on an energetic level. The universe may be like, you know what, Sagittari Sagittarius is serious, right? Um, so let me get some more clarity here. I feel like you're shutting something out for good this time. It's not what you want anyways. It's not what you want. I just feel as if you've just, you can't be bothered with fully blocking it out, you know? It's not like you're trying to leave the door open on purpose. It just seems like you're, you know, you're not fooling with it. That's the best way I can describe it here. A lot of you, a turning point in your finances as well. Like, this could be the energy where you've been, like, pinching pennies or something of that nature. I do feel like that's an energy that you're going to come out of, okay? You have the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the Lovers, okay? So the Major Arcana is going to trump, you know, whatever's around it every single time. And it was the last card to show out in that, in that um, you know, spread of four right there. So it does seem to me like there's a big decision that's leading to a turning point when it comes to your finances here. That's likely why you have the Six of Swords as your overall energy, you know, because the Six of Swords, if you look here, uh, there's... They're moving out of these choppy waters onto these calm and still waters. And then you even have the Seven of Pentacles, which was your first card out, and your last card was the Eight. So there is progress here, even if it's kind of slow. What else do we have going on over here? For the month of May, this is for Sagittarius. Ooh, okay. Some of you, a bold move is going to be made towards you. Goodness, there's a Libra who just keeps showing up in your energy. Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, okay? Those energies just keep showing up in your reading for whatever reason here, but... And now you have the Nine of Pentacles. Something's definitely progressing with your money here. Nine of Pentacles is a very good money card. You move from the seven to the eight to the nine. I really love to see that here. There's definitely a turning point um, in the reading here with your finances. But, you know, um, also with this energy, it seems like whatever it was that you were waiting on, if this is in regards to a romantic partner, it's almost like this comes out of nowhere when you least expect it. It's almost, it's, it's almost pretty crazy here because it seems like as soon as you shift your energy on something else, like look, Eight of Pentacles, working on something else, right? And then here's this offer. Here's this offer. Somebody makes a bold move towards you. And you know what? It's possible, Sagittarius, that this person could have been struggling with finances or a living situation as well. And you know, it's possible that they're having to turn that around. And once they start to do that, they feel more comfortable in coming towards you. So I'm seeing that's a possibility here as well. But yeah, you got a lot going on in this reading, a lot going on in May, lots of court cards here. It could be a lot of people in your energy, but overall I'm seeing progress um, in the reading here with money, finances, and with something you've been waiting on coming in all of a sudden when you least expect it, when your energy shift towards something else. So that's what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful or fun. Details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon, but if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.